were so excited to have this great place and now we've got the place next door to we keep growing at Florence Crittenden School our motto is CPR squared is life-saving and that stands for community potential responsibility and respect and today the first two of those really come to mind community wonderful community and potential look at all these teen moms who are here today for the first day of school to meet their full potential they're beating the odds by I had a phone call when I was at my desk at about 630 this morning from a mom saying should I bring water for my baby today you know they're getting ready that there's a lot to get ready to get to school every day and so I'm honored to work with these young families with our wonderful staff who is dedicated and with all of the donors and supporters that we have so the other obviously big part of community is that it's my privilege to introduce to you a man that I know you all know is a strong supporter of education early education which we do here and education in general with our partnership with Denver Public Schools and he also believes in partnerships which we rely on every day and so I am so excited to know that Mayor John Hickenlooper is with us today to cut the ribbon and help us celebrate the 25th year so thank you and I know we got you know get the ribbon cut and get everybody back to school because some people just can't wait to get back to school I want to take two seconds just to say my appreciation for all that that Noreen and her team have done over the over the past years you know I first came to Florence Crittenden Flo Crit as we called it back then we still do I think you're on the side now uh, and Doug Price, I think, was who originally kind of connected us. Uh, at that time, he was on the board. He was a local banker. And he talked about, he laid out for me some of the, the graphic statistics of the, the children born to teenage mother, mothers and how, I almost said teenage muggers. <laughs> <laughs> the, the children born to teenage mothers and all the challenges they faced and the statistics that showed again and again that they would be more likely to get into trouble, they'd have a harder time graduating from high school, and that we as a community we're crazy not to reach out and, and give all the support we can to make sure that, that, that teenage mothers aren't alone and that they have an opportunity to not only raise their children and get support in terms of good parenting, but also be able to get their own education, continue their own life and their own ambitions. And we see that here at a level that really, even six years ago, I didn't think we'd ever see the capacity here to see this level of follow star rated early childhood education in this facility with that many kids, uh, you know, infants uh, in schools where their parents are actually getting finishing their high school degree, it is incredibly inspirational. And I, someone who's got a seven-year-old, my wife was out of town for a week, so I was working my job and taking care of a seven-year-old. It about killed me. Right? <laughs> and I, my hat goes off to all the mothers that they're able to, with the support of the community, their families, their friends, Farns Crittenden School, they're able to juggle these different worlds their, their lives a lot of times they've got jobs on the side uh, they're, they're they're working they're, they're taking care of their kids at the same time they're finishing their education it, that's what it's all about so on behalf of a grateful city uh, thank you to uh, pathways to uh, float print uh, to the entire community that supports them we're so lucky in this community to have you know philanthropists like 